is now September and I think this is vlog number six and just wanted to check in with you guys um, since last time because it's been a few weeks so I've had really really um, you know good luck with uh, the last month and some really good things happening and I think in some ways the album's done uh, it's done kind of conceptually in terms of like I used to have 30 songs and now I I have, um, I think about 11 songs, maybe 12, maybe 10, just depending on where I want to, um, you know, where I want to go with it, and I'm really, really happy with it. Um, what's been good and what's been bad about this is I don't have a, a set deadline, and so that's good in that it has given me freedom, but it's bad in that there, because there's no rush and there's no, you know, urgency to anything. Um, I'm someone that kind of needs a little bit of a push um, to get things done. And so how that push came is uh, my uh, great friend Tristan Helkinson, who is a Regina guy, um, he played in Slim City Pickers and Molten Lavage, which he still plays in, and plays some uh, other great bands in Vancouver. He lives in Vancouver now, and actually I've been taking online drums le lessons with Tristan for the last... Uh, year and a half and um, you know he was able to come home this summer to see his family and I thought well you know if you're home maybe we can work on some music not do like formal recording but just kind of jam and, and uh, play him these songs and see how it goes and it was amazing it went so well um, it reminded me of working with Tristan on my first album Prairie Ocean Tristan is the drummer on all of that and um, keep in mind, when I made my first album, I had no idea what I was doing in so many ways. And, um, you know, there's a lot of things I could do over. I would do over if I could. Uh, but one of the things that was awesome is we brought Tristan uh, in early on uh, to do his drum parts. And uh, he's very much like Ringo Starr, is that, you know, he plays to the song. And, uh, you know, it's almost like part of the composition. And uh, when he played his parts for the Prairie Ocean album, I thought, well, now I've got to like actually make these songs good because he sounds so good. And it really just elevated uh, everything. It really inspired it, gave it a vibe. Um, you know, made me. Uh, you know, he does so many things so well, but he he can really you know make something punchy and rock. And so it gave it, I think, an edge that it needed. And so I thought that might be a good formula to do, uh, knowing that these songs are still works in progress. Let's see how it goes. So uh, we recorded here. Uh, uh, and again, not necessarily formal recording, but just, you know, to put something down, put a beat down. Uh, and it was fantastic. Um, it really, uh, you know, elevated those songs, made me excited. And, um, you know, that's one of the great things about working with people is they bring something else to it. And so I had some things that not were cliche pop songs or rock songs, but uh, what he made to them, uh, what he brought to them with his playing was so unique and original. And I love these songs. And so that was about uh, almost a month ago now. And uh, I've just been tweaking and refining, changing lyrics, uh, you know, taking out a verse here, doing that here, uh, here, just really kind of, you know, making things as tight as they can. And, you know, I'm really, really happy with it. Um, why don't we uh, have a peek at some of the parts that uh, Tristan was playing? So there's a new song I have called Kaleidoscope, and I believe this clip is Tristan uh, working on the new song Kaleidoscope. Check it out. So as you can see, it's not a straight drum part that he put, you know, he plays like a composition. And definitely I gave him some direction on what I'd like. Um, I remember on that one I said, this should have like a signature drum riff. It shouldn't be just like, dun, 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 dun. Uh, it should have a part. So when you hear that, it's like, oh, that's that song, you know? Uh, and I think he did, it was, it was great. Um, where do I go from here? Well, um, that's a good question. 
I'm a teacher as well as a songwriter, and with school starting up, you know, my time is limited. Uh, but I do have time, and it's been good because it's given me lots of time to think about these songs, and, you know, things are getting tighter. Um, I think formal recording will probably happen in the early part of 2022, but that's good because it gives me time to improve these songs, work on these songs, and uh, keep going. And uh, in a perfect world, uh, if things go well, um, I hope to be working with Jonathan Anderson again. Jonathan is out in, um, I think, just outside of Richmond, B.C., and I worked with him on the Pulsing Colors album. Uh, you know, worked with him a lot with Pulsing Colors, but I've never met the man because we did things remotely before, you know, COVID and, and stuff like that, just because I couldn't go out to B.C. Anyways, the work that we did in 2018, or 2017, I guess, um, was uh, awesome and a really good experience and he's had you know great work with um he, he did andy shops the bear a uh, bad news and uh other works that i really uh jordan clausen is another one that he's worked with um and uh you know i think he's he's fantastic so hopefully fingers crossed things work out and i get to work with them and maybe even get to go to bc to uh work in the studio so I think that's about it for now, guys. Um, if I can give you any songwriting tips, um, yeah, sometimes just having a deadline is a good thing because it certainly was for me knowing that Tristan was coming. Uh, I want to make sure I, you know, presented you know things as best I could. Here's some great songs, you know, like what what do you think? Um, and yeah, I guess that's a great part of the creative process is. Uh, you know, sharing, get people that you trust to listen to it. And you don't need people to tell you you're awesome. You need people to, you know, say, well, what about this? Or, you know, this is working or this maybe isn't working. What about uh, trying it like that? And um, that works for me. Uh, and yeah. Anyways, uh, the other good news is uh, after working with Tristan and working on these songs more, I am so excited. I really do feel that this is my best work and I can't wait to uh, share it with you guys soon. Something else that that's great that's happened is uh, I haven't played gigs for months but I had three gigs in four days. Um, one in Regina at the Fat Badger and then two in Winnipeg. One at uh, Fian McCool's which is a great bar and one at the Manitoba Art Market, the night art market at Cinnaboya Downs and they were great. The You know, socially distant um, the crowds were great. Um, I had a chance to play my new material, and that went over really, really well, and that felt good. And it was just so nice to play. Um, in terms of what other gigs I have coming up, I don't really have anything coming down the line. Uh, and with the current state of how things are with COVID, I'm all right with that. Uh, don't really want to hang out in bars too much. Uh, but, you know, I'm optimistic that, you know, in the next couple months, maybe we'll We'll get somewhere and uh, can play some more shows, play um, these songs out more, and uh, do that. And yeah, anyways, it was great to get out of town. It was great to see Winnipeg. Uh, it was a whirlwind trip because I was there for just a little over 24 hours, but it was fantastic. So just wrapping up, guys, I think, yeah, this is vlog number six. Uh, things are going great. I think in some ways the album's done in terms of like cons the concept of it uh, and, you know, the refining it, the, like what songs I'm going to use and uh, really, really happy with it. And I can't wait to share it with you. Uh, if you have any questions or if you have any comments that you want me to address, you can just uh, comment down below. And I'll see you guys next time. Thanks.